Hello and welcome to the highlights of the first one day international between Pakistan women and West Indies women at National Stadium Karachi. The toss was won by Captain Sidra Nawaz who chose to take the field on a breezy Karachi morning. Here's a look at the two lineups for the match. The all important feature is Deandra Dotton returning back from an injury. Pakistan women come in with the stand in Captain Sidra Nawaz. So let's join the commentators for the first ball of the match. First ball of the first ODI. Pitching outside off a stump, left the ball. Sidra Nawaz is behind the wicket. Off the back foot, nice punch. That will be the first boundary of the bat for the day and the first ODI. Nicely played, in control. More runs here, won't be able to cut it off. The uh, final leg is very, very wide down there. Back to back boundaries. Up <laughs> and she'll clear mid on there. A couple of bounces into the fence. And this time, uh, Dotton found the opportunity to just go through the line. <laughs> Nicely driven, found the gap as well. More runs here. Alia won't be cutting off this time. Boundary there. In the air, just beating Alia Riaz once again. Some runs being scored here on a fuller delivery is being offered by Fatma Sana. Again, nicely driven there. This time Rashada just uh, getting that flight. It was again. Tossed up and lifted just over Nashra Sandhu at mid-off. Another boundary. She's dealing in the boundaries. Zabardast the sportswoman Diana, who cricket with cricket, football maybe. नाम रखती इस दफा अपील हुई और अंपायर ऐसी हकूक की उंगली फिजा में बुलंद तो इस तरह दूसरी कामयाबी हासिल की पाकिस्तान विमेंस ने पहले ओवर में वो ज्यादा फेवरेट नजर आ रही थी अपनी लाइन में लेकिन इस मर्तबा उन्होंने बैटर को आगे इनवाइट किया कि वो स्ट्रोक खेलने के लिए जाएं मुकम्मल तौर पर बीट हुए शॉट को खेलते खेलते बल्ले को इसकी लाइन से हटाने में कामयाब ना हो सकी एच मौजूद था कंफर्म किया अंपायर आसिफ याकूब ने और डिलाइट पाकिस्तान की खातन के लिए दूसरी विकेट स्टाफनी टेलर वेस्ट इंडीज की कप्तान लगाउट में वापस नए ओवर का आगाज मौसम से बाहर गेंद थी डॉटे ने इसी दौरान अपनी नेक्स्ट सेंचुरी मुकम्मल करने में कामयाब हुई यहां पे इस सेंचुरी की दाद दी गई डगआउट में मौजूद साथी खिलाड़ियों की जानिब से फातिमा के अलावा या एक और अच्छा ऑप्शन कायनात इम्तियाज भी हो सकती है लेकिन इसी दौरान गैप तलाश करने में कामयाब और एक और बाउंड्री हासिल की यहां Nicely played, just uh, inside out, over extra. Maybe a couple of runs, in fact, all the way to the boundary of Stephanie Taylor. Apesh, well, she'll be in the safe zone because she exactly knows how she's hit that. Beats the fielder at the cover boundary. There you go. This shot has been so easily played, time and again, and this time looks like a maximum. It's got to be the first maximum of the of the day of the first one there. No protection in the deep. You can express yourself. You can hit it all the way. Then no problem whatsoever. The umpire probably will double check, and that's the second maximum in the over. Nice looking shot. Will it beat the fielder there in the deep? Yes, it will. Oh, just past that outside edge to the right of the keeper. That's a boundary there. That's not a very good delivery. Is by run milenge or chokke ki surat mein milenge. Puri delivery thi. ठीक है कहना ठीक है ठीक है वह बीच में आएगी तो और दौड़ हो जाएगा शाबाश. Kelly has also scored his uh, half century. Dot end. Gone for sweep and score as. One and then two and a well-deserved century for Dendra Dotton. Second century in international cricket. Well played, Dendra Dotton. What an excellent knock it has been. Catch it. Only look here, here. Over the head of long off fielder. Nice effort by the fielder, but could not stop the ball and uh, in result, uh, one more boundary for West Indian team. 
capitalize the opportunity and score a well deserved century one more boundary lofted stroke over the head of the fielder and uh, scored a boundary like a delivery opesh it was an easy chance of for the fielder and one more wicket has been fallen of uh, what to do with that delivery didn't go through with that shot and just scooped it to mid wicket easy catch uh, for nashra could not middle the ball and uh, the departure for heli matthews 57 191 for the loss of three wickets nice improvisation found the gap and four runs short ball going for pull and uh, scored a one more boundary chance of a catch but uh, dropped by iram outside the off stump cut towards third man and scored a one more boundary shot that beaten that square leg fielder for another boundary nicely played that's gone through covers for another boundary so now there's more power available in the shots even after 128 knock that's going on by dotton firing those in this one is nicely done that's a good shout there that's out is probably straightening up according to the umpire pitching in the line of the stumps and that's well bowled so a bit of flight has just deceived dotton has been the culprit of it tendra is missing the line change of pace tossing it up and a big gap between bat and pad had to pay the price yes and by the agree and the finger goes up but a, what a wonderful innings by dendra dotton one of the prolific players of west indies cricket 132 Well that's very well done. That's a very T20 like shot. Just uh, walking across, uh, getting inside the line of the ball and just flicking it over fine leg for a boundary. Down the wicket is an opportunity here. Will it be taken? Yes it is. That's very well done. That's a great catch. Kept her eyes on the ball. Very well judged catch by Muniba. Adjusting to the length, but yet again Anam is the one with the wicket. just enough yeah she judged it well but it failed kesia knight has to go back after scoring just six runs ah, yeah! anam amin with another wicket bowled up through the defenses through the legs wanted to sweep it but the length wasn't there opportunity here and taken yes. nashra sandu takes the catch at long on and another wicket falls in the last couple of deliveries in the innings fatma sana gets a wicket here trying to clean that clear that boundary but finding nashra sandu in its way finally fatma sana getting a breakthrough out oh, and yes this time iram takes it back to back wickets and pakistan wrap it up with eight down for the windies they got enough runs or not only time will tell but some good catching in the end pakistan would be really happy they wanted to contain them on 200 but 250 on this wicket it's not a bad target there it is west indies women have posted a total of 253 after deandra dotton posted her second international century with 132 of 146 deliveries Kelly Matthews pitching it with 57 runs. Pakistan women struggled early on of the innings but gathered rhythm to take 8 wickets in the end. Anam Amin finishing with her career best figures 5 for 35. Fatma Sana pitched in well to take two scalps for 66. Let's join the commentators back for Pakistan's reply chasing 254 runs. Here we go. Apish and just past that fielder at backward point and pakistan on their way with a single oh gone 
was playing away from the body and sliced it straight to backward point. Didn't have to move an inch, went right into her lap. Pakistan lose their first in the first over, five for one. Playing away from the body and straight to point. Sidra Amin dismissed for two of seven balls. Pulled beautifully, short ball, very quickly onto that back foot. Pulled it to square leg boundary, four more runs. That's uh, not where it is she intended it to go, but she's got a boundary. Stuckly away from the body, the bat. Boundary to in the over, it's 26 for one. Licked away just enough from Aisha Zafar. For a moment, Wendy's thought they had their second. Indian team within the stumps played very well on drive. Oh, you cannot bowl there to Aisha Zafar. She likes to flick, she likes to bring that wrist into the play. Slow ball, appeal by MW. Finger goes up, and one more, one more wicket has been fallen. Aisha Zafar once again trapped in front of the wicket. She's strong there, but that's exactly her. Look at that, pitched up. Huge gap between bat and bat, trying to angle it into the leg side, going across the line. Hits it on the back leg. And that is the end of Aisha Zafar. Yeah, it was a slow delivery. Could not understand. Aisha Zafar gone 70 in. Picked up nicely, will run away for four. The fielder was inside the circle, dragging down the leg side. All Muniba had to do was get some wood on it. Played straight and will beat the fielder. Another boundary for Muniba. It's a brilliant shot. There you go. Lift it up, but I don't think they got the distance. Good catch by Taylor, the captain. Muniba trying to change the gears, didn't work for her. Batting of Kaina Dimdia, she's lost her patience and uh, gone for a big hit. And in result, very well taken by captain, setting the example. Good catch. Muniba Ali wanted to clear that infield but failed. Gone for 28. And playing uh, at number five. Nice effort, but could not rest off the ball. Stop that, stop that. The ball is going to be able to get the ball. And this time, it's a beautiful shot. The fielder is going to be able to beat the ball. He's going to be able to beat the ball. He's going to be able to beat the ball. He's going to be able to beat the ball. But he was not able to beat the ball. He was not able to beat कदमों का इस्तेमाल किया है उठा के खेलने में कामयाब नहीं है और एक मरतबा फिर चेस होगा फील्डर के लिए और रोकने में कामयाब नहीं हो पाएंगी फाइनली रन हासिल हुए हैं ऑन साइड पर क्या गैप तलाश कर गई हैं जी हां वहां पर मौजूद फील्डर डियन रॉटिन ने भरपूर कोशिश की गेंद को रोकने की लेकिन गेंद उनकी आंखों के सामने दूर होती चली गई और स्वीप शॉट खेले और लगता है कि एक मरतबा फिर चौका हासिल होगा मुसलसल दो गेंदों पर दो चौके इरम जावेद ने एक मरतबा फिर अपने आप को पांचवें गेयर में डाल लिया है ब्रेक थ्रू बिग वन दिस टाइम इरम वॉन्टेड टू प्ले इट डाउन द ग्राउंड वेरी इन लकी इरम जावेद इट वॉज अ स्लोर वन फ्रॉम हेली मैथ्यूज प्लेड नाइस सुपर ड्राइव बट नॉट एबल टू गेट द Gap straight into the hand of uh, Heli Matthews, and in result, departure of Iram Javed. Well played, Iram Javed. Lift up. There's a fielder there. There's a chance and taken. Heli Matthews gets another wicket, and this time it's Kainat Imtiaz. So the marathon inning of Kainat Imtiaz has been ended. Scored uh, 24 with the help of uh, 59 balls. Consumed 59 balls. Tried to play the hopish. Tried to get the gap, but uh, could not able to get the gap. Straight into the hand of the fielder. Nice uh, catch, nice well taken catch. And the departure of Kainat Imtiaz.
निकालने में कामयाब रही हैं बड़ा तवील चेज होगा और बहुत मुश्किल है पहुंचना तीन फील्डर विकेट कीपर के समेत कोशिश करेंगे इसको पहुंचने की लेकिन बिल आखिर आलिया ने चौका हासिल किया है Yes, again, uh, Sidra Nawaz, the captain, trying to force the pace. Tried to play it over mid-wicket, could not get the elevation. Went straight to hand, easy catch. So Sidra gone, 23, after facing uh, 46 balls. 46 ball hours left. Down the track she goes, played it over extra cover. Beautiful shot that. In the gap, four more runs. Got the wicket. Bowl him. Tried to sweep from uh, middle stump and uh, missed it altogether. Ball crashes into the stumps. He play, you can see. Was uh, on the stumps, that one. Tried to sweep. Uh, it's nowhere near the ball. Went for cut, found the gap, looking for the boundary, no fielder. Welcome boundary for uh, Nashra here. Lifted off, in the gap, will it run away for four? Yes, it does. Alia Ria still in the fight, picked up the length and put away for a boundary. The ones down at five and six. Quick single, that's a direct hit and it's given out. We're struggling all the way. Alia Riaz. It went behind the square on the onset. It's got to be Alia Riaz's call. Because she's the one in the non striker. She has got a better eye for it. She should have reached. Because it's your call. Probably didn't expect it to be a direct hit. And she's got to walk. The game awareness lacks here. West Indians got really strong arms. They're pretty good in the fielding. Looped it, and there will be a chance for run out and gone. Huge mix up in the middle, and Sadia was watching the ball, and Nashra wasn't watching anyone at all. She just took off. While she is batting, the ground staff is walking right in front of her eye line, and all that happened in a in a jiffy, and she's run out. He's actually covering the advertisement hoardings with that black cloth right in front of our eyes behind the baller's arm. And that'll be a dot ball. That concludes the first win for West Indies. And uh, with the margin, they will be pretty happy with their all-round performance. Pakistan could only manage 208 for the loss of nine wickets. Alia Riaz top scoring here with her 46 of 61. But great intent was shown by Iram Javed, who scored at higher strike rate than all, with her 40 of 34 deliveries. West Indies women bowled extremely well to restrict Pakistan to 208. Hayley Matthews now contributed with her bowling skills and took three important scalps for her 31 runs. Well, here's the match summary as West Indies winning the first ODI comprehensively here with 45 runs. Thanks, a brilliant round of batting display by Dendra Dotton with her century of 132 runs, was also the player of the match. Well, that's it for the highlights of this match with us. Hope you will join us for the second ODI. Till then, it's a goodbye.